Now, my friends, uh, the big news coming out this afternoon is that, um, well, it's an odd woman makes even odder claims about Senator Charles Perry. Now, I know many, many of you keep hearing these news reports where it says allegations and she's seeking a protective order, on and on and on. I know exactly what's in your head. And I was proven right just a few moments ago by somebody. Your natural assumption is that this is about something like uh, sex. Introduced to it, the fact that this former political activist in Lubbock who moved here from Nevada and was just here for a few years, stirred up a lot of trouble, is now a stripper by her own admission in Oklahoma. And you think, whoa, Charles, per what? No, no, has nothing to do with that. This is truly tinfoil hat stuff. And uh, I have my own personal knowledge of and history with this individual making these allegations. I uh, was not aware. I just don't keep up with people like that that I don't like and respect. I didn't know. I had heard she was a stripper. I always thought that was just malicious gossip. But now I didn't even know she'd moved to Oklahoma. So apparently she has. Her name is Cindy Ortiz. We welcome Jordan Berry to the show. He's political campaign guy and works with Senator Perry. And apparently this goes has been going on for some time with emails and things of just, just kind of give us a picture of what it is that's that's alleged because I know Jordan that most people simply read a headline they say allegations and they just assume this is something untoward in the the classic heing and sheing type thing and it has nothing to do with that it's it's really what I call the tinfoil hat stuff. Uh, thank you for having me on, Mr. Pratt. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, the accusations started in 2011, and the first written correspondence that I have was she actually was accusing other people in Lubbock, and uh, one of them being a doctor uh, of, uh, of harassing, uh, or just harassing her, and, and, and different accusations. But it, what kind um, of harassment? Because I, I've posted her allegation up that she sent out to the media today. There, this isn't what people think when they hear harassment. They think a guy's stalking her, following her around, you know, trying to get something on, or maybe sexual harassment. I, I don't know what she claimed in other cases, but that doesn't even seem to be part of this. Well, well with Charles, she's actually accused uh, Senator Perry of uh, hacking into her computer, um, <laughs> to recruiting her neighbors. Um, to spy on her, um, hacking into her social media accounts and email accounts. Um, was there something about having microf- microphones? Yeah, in her air microphones, conditioning mi- Microphones in her bedroom where he could talk to her at night. Um, <laughs> you know, and, and here's, here's sad, the deal. But- uh, we we want to show her a little grace because she's sick. Um, but at some point... Uh, Charles has to be protected, and you can't allow someone to just continue to, to do things like this. Well, you guys didn't bring this out. You've been handling it, as I understand. You've been handing over all this stuff to a local district attorney for a very long time just so that there was a file, a case file. And as somebody who's in the public eye and in media and someone who's run campaigns like you, I'll tell the audience, folks, you don't you don't know – the, these people that do stuff like this are, are not as common as some of you might think. But then the other ones of you wouldn't realize how vile and vicious it can be when you do come across one. I mean, folks, I've never mentioned on the air some of the things that have happened to me like this. I have had people mail uh, in the physical snail mail, uh, color printed out, obvious photoshopped, you know, very nasty, vile things with extortion demands, claiming that they, you know, hacked into your computer and caught you doing something on your webcam, which, of course, you know, I don't have a background that looks like uh, I bought my furniture at the rental store. But they they put stuff together, and then, and I've kept it in a file just in case it ever comes up ahead. But then there are these people involved in political campaigns. And and I just want people to know I've got my own history with this person. I told uh, you when I called you to see if you would come on the show, Jordan, in all the years of this show, despite all the weird stuff you get and the people who just will not let go, who want to debate every issue off the air, which is not what I'm here for, and every other kind of vile stuff, there have only been, and I say I say two or three because I can't remember if it's more than two or not, in the entire history of my program, 
and going all the way back to being a county chairman in, in the Republican Party, there are only two or three people I have ever put in the permanent block thing for that are related, you know, to politics or my show in the email. And Cindy Ortiz, the complainant here, is the very first person I had to do that to. And she started out. As a listener of the show, when she moved to Lubbock from Nevada after the big crash, wanted to get involved in politics and wrote me a lot of nice emails asking questions, and I answered them. And everything was fine. And then little by little by little, it, it, it became obvious that, that there's something either unhinged or malicious or both involved in the individual. And uh, those of us that have to work for a living just have to shut it off. I mean, you just can't keep dealing with it. But now she's gone to a court. Tell us about that. She's gone to a court in the state of Oklahoma and asked for some kind of what restraining order or protective order, but but she's not in, she's not even saying that there's any physical anything. It's just that there are microphones in her bedroom that, and she hears senators' voice at night and other things. Tell us about it. Yes, sir. So previously, she had pulled this stunt in the Denton area, and the Denton law enforcement contacted uh, Charles. And he simply said, look, this has been going on for a while. I, I had a feeling this could escalate, so I have been turning over things to the Lubbock County DA. Uh, so so she went to him. law enforcement in Denton County over this? Uh, originally, yes, sir. Okay. And, and then uh, she went back off the radar. Between this period, she would constantly send out email blasts to all sorts of people, political yeah. people, just I don't look people, at them anymore, anyone. exactly. I blocked yeah. them, yeah. Uh, and, and then, you know, she disappeared. Uh, she, she did try and contact the opposing campaigns to stir them up. They were smart enough not to bite. She disappeared. Now she has reappeared in Oklahoma, which is news to us. And, yes, she, she went to a judge without filling out a police report. She'd gone to a judge and asked for a protection order. So now we're, we're just asking, we're going to ask the judge a few simple things. You know, is, is there any evidence that Charles has been into Oklahoma recently? Is there any evidence of any of the claims that you're making? And, uh, and make, make the you, judge aware that this is the first Do you have a hearing? Yeah, and because the judge would not be in the loop. Do you have a hearing date or anything? I, I believe it will be early next week. But okay. we're, well, we're this this hit the today. statewide media today. It's out there. The a, Betsy Blaney, uh, the AP reporter for Northwest Texas, had, had wrote it up. It's when some other outfits and its outlets, and it's been up there. Um, interestingly, in her piece, and folks, you can read her actual email and the the a PDF of her email of accusations as well as her statement to the press she just sent to everybody about the protective order. One of the interesting things about this, she's confirmed it with other media outlets that she's working as a stripper. I thought this was a, and this was a person that approached me as being one of these, uh, you know, very much a uh, uh, the um, religious right, conservative, family oriented. In fact, my introduction to her was all about the public schools and how we needed to clean everything up. And, um, I thought it was interesting in her statement. She said, my family and I have been forced to take these actions in order just to be able to enjoy a normal, peaceful life. I, um, there's obviously something. I mean, that's such a disconnect. She's, she's, um, in, uh, confirmed to media outlets. She's working as a, as a, as a stripper. And you just, you just wonder, how is that a normal, but you know, I don't get it. It's so disconnected. Um, you know, I'm not a doctor. I can't tell you whether this lady, Cindy Ortiz is, is ill. I can just tell you that. She has been dangerous politically and unbalanced and unfair and uh, ranting and raving and all kinds of things for years. And I simply blocked her from everything a long time ago. And I haven't seen any of this stuff until it made the state press today, Jordan. What are you guys, uh, is that, is your next step the uh, court hearing in Oklahoma? Well, and I'll, I'll note this, but local press has been involved about these accusations over the last few years, but they've been responsible about it. They they never thought it was. Well, there's no worked. evidence. Right. I mean, she's put, yeah, they, right. They, I've heard rumors, but there's no it, evidence it, it and there's no story. It wasn't until today, until the Austin press got overly excited at the idea of, the idea of yeah, a Republican senator and a stripper and all these things. Uh, but, but some in the Austin press were actually very responsible, and they challenged her. They asked her for evidence. They asked her publicly on Twitter for evidence. And when she refused to uh, show it, they let her know, you've got a problem here. 
So let me recap this before we we cut out, because we've gone very long in the segment. Uh, Visiting with Jordan Berry, political spokesman for Senator Charles Perry, guy that worked with Charles from his first campaign and knows him well, has been aware of this this person's activities for a long time. I'm telling you, I'm well aware of the unhinged nature of much of it. The allegation here is not any kind of thing that that people would think of when they think, oh, here's a woman, a stripper no less, uh, making allegations against, uh, you know, strong uh, religious conservative uh, Charles Perry. Uh, The fact is she's alleging that he's basically hacking all her social media and her her computer and putting listening devices in her house and recruiting neighbors to spy on her. It's just out, it's out there in tinfoil hat. Uh, area, but it's this stuff becomes very damaging, and of course, again, it's been picked up by multiple press outlets statewide today, and so that I would assume, Jordan, is why you guys have decided to address it publicly. Yes, sir, exactly. All right, very good. Well, hey, I appreciate the time, and uh, thanks for uh, for taking a moment with us today, and uh, we'll I'll uh, tell some of my stories without taking up your time. Uh, Jordan Berry, ladies and gentlemen, with the Charles Perry campaign. 